Hi, this is Frank O'Loughlin, WQNO. I'm the Cape Cod and Islands Aries uh, District Emergency Coordinator here in Eastern Massachusetts for the Eastern Massachusetts section. And today we're playing around a little bit with NBEMS, Narrow Band Emergency Message System. And we do some stuff on the air, but we also do some stuff close in. We get into a single room and we have a very controlled environment where we can look at uh, what we're putting output for power, what we're drawing from power supplies, what modes we're using, the speed we're getting, and we can record it all. It's very, very nice. Um, very different when you're doing it on the air uh, for, you know, on real HF and so forth. But, uh, of course, we're using FL Digi. And we want to thank uh, Dave, W1HKJ, and the development team for really uh, giving us a system that works no matter what. Even when all systems are gone, including all the birds in the sky, we can still talk, which is really, really nice. And we use very similar systems with netbooks. And we use signal links and radios like the 7000 ICOM or the 706. Today's my partner, uh, Jim, uh, in KC1KM. And uh, one thing we wanted to do today was to test a new power supply. This is one of those little, uh, not Lambda, but similar power supplies. And it's 12 volts at about 30 amps. And I bought it and wanted to try it because it would be a low-cost addition that would be uh, great for my group, whether it's built in kits or used elsewhere. And uh, we were able to tune and bring the uh, voltage up to about 13.89, 13.9, which you can see right here. And one thing we did want to try is uh, seeing how the HF radio would perform at 100 watts with that little power supply. So we're here on, at 75 meters, and uh, we're going to draw, I have a little wrapped file here that I've inserted. And uh, what I'm going to do is send that to KC1KM, and uh, we'll watch that pop up on his FL message. Great system. And we've loaded, downloaded the new, uh, the, at least new right now, 2.2AB uh, version. And uh, hopefully we'll get a chance today to also play with some CSV files, but we'll see. <laughs> so I'm sending it at this time and firing away. And we can see that the power supply at 100 watts is holding up very nicely, 1389. Fan kicks in in a little while. And that was fast. And there comes the 214. Comes up an FL message and in the browser. And uh, very, very nice. And uh, you can see that came up on the message. We had that running in the background. FL message. And uh, Nice, comes up in the browser too, and easy printing. So a great system. And a uh, little power supply performed very, very nicely. Especially considering the fact that it was $32 delivered to your door. So you really can't go wrong there. But we'll give it some good field testing and see how it goes. So thanks again to all the uh, people that helping us with NBEMS. And also uh, trying to find some low-cost solutions to new people wanting to... Uh, get on the air at minimal cost. So this power supply is a good addition. We'll continue to test it. Thanks for watching. This is WQ1O along with Jim, KC1KM, saying 7-3. And keep up the MCOM work.